Our day in St Croix proved an unexpected treat as we discovered one of the most stunning beaches we've ever experienced. We also explored the town of Frederickstead and drank some incredibly strong rum punch. Frederickstead is a small town on the western coast of the island of St Croix, with the main town of Christiansted being 15 miles away or some 45 minutes in a bus or cab. Arriving at Frederickstead was a beautiful sight, with a mountainous backdrop clearly highlighting that there were sandy shores and beaches to explore around the Frederickstead area. Our plan was to make our way to Sandy Point on the southwestern tip of the island. With the sun shining, we headed off the cruise dock and into the town. Immediately turning right, we took a long walk along the seafront and through the waterfront districts of Frederickstead. This was a mixture of maid pass and road walking out through residential areas and it also provided many interesting sights to see on our route. There are also sandy beaches to explore on this route and some hotels with bars and cafes too if you fancy a stop. Inland you pass a salt pond which forms part of the largest Sandy Point nature reserve and wildlife refuge. It's about a 1.8 mile walk before an old derelict outdoor swimming pool is reached. This is no longer used, but at this point you can drop down off the road onto the impressive West Beach which provides unbroken sands all the way to Sandy Point. This beach is simply stunning. It's hard to overstate just how beautiful a place this actually is. You eventually pass a sign explaining that access to the nature reserve and turtle nesting sites is prohibited during April through to August to allow the turtles to safely nest. Access to the nature reserve itself and the visitor center is also restricted to certain days and times. It's definitely worth checking these out and I'll pop a link to the website in the video description. There are no amenities or facilities like toilets here, so you need to be aware of that before you decide to proceed any further. You are also prohibited from staking anything in the soft sands like parasols or sunshades, so you need to protect yourself from the strong sun. There are no netted swimming areas either, and this is nature at its best rather than a public amenity. Sticking close to the water's edge, we continued our walk to Sandy Point. When we got there, we took a few moments to take in the magnificence of our surroundings. With the sand being so soft, it was hard walking and our pace was slow, so we eventually had to turn back towards Frederickstead, wishing we'd brought even more water with us to keep us hydrated. However, we were soon back in Frederickstead town, which provided shops to browse, a small craft market, a small fort, which is a museum, and some fine bars and restaurants. A local resident stopped her car to ask us why we were in Christiansted, which he said was a much nicer place to explore. Well, hopefully that's for our next visit. But we found that Frederickstead had plenty of charm and enough to do to while away a couple of hours. Of course, the bars there sell rum punch like elsewhere in the Caribbean, but I have to say the punch sampled in Frederickstead was especially strong. We left Frederickstead with glowing faces and beaming grins. Thank you, St. Croix. It had been a special day in another very special place.